Hi, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I wanted to share a bit of a word. I know that today is Good Friday. Today is really what I believe is an important day of reflection on what our Lord had done. This is the day that He had gone to the cross for you and me, where He would give His life up and bear the penalty of our sins. He would bear the weight of the sins of mankind. He would bear the wrath of His Father against all sin. An innocent man, this Lord Jesus Christ, who was sent to break the works of the devil and to break the work of darkness in our life. This would be the day that he would complete the mission that God had given him to do. You know, we know that last night being the night before when he had the Last Supper, the night where he would be betrayed by Judas and placed into the hands of soldiers. All through the wee hours of the morning, he was standing before the Sanhedrin, being beaten, spit upon, ridiculed, and accused, even though he was innocent. Yet, he would now be led as a lamb to the slaughter silent. You know, not lashing out, not retaliating, but going through what his father had detained him to go. That he would conquer death and bring forth life. So today, as we reflect on all these things, we reflect on this day where Jesus Christ would literally go to the cross and give his life for you and me. I want to talk about how he tasted death so that we would taste life. So if you have your Bibles with you, I want to, uh, I want to begin with a verse in Hebrews chapter 2, verse 9. So it says, But when we do not see who was made lower than the angels for a little while, now crowned with glory and honor, because he suffered death, so that by the grace of God, he might taste death for everyone. Really thinking about this verse, we see Jesus who is sent from heaven. Jesus, who became a lowly man. He left the throne. He left all the glory of his father so that he would complete the mission and the will of God on earth. And this mission was that he would go to the cross, that he would lay down his life, that he would follow through or the will of God and taste that 